YouTube channel. My name is Jamie Naftali and the channel's name is The Pediatric World. This is the only platform, it's only here where we discuss on common illnesses affecting children while growing up. So we want to create the awareness to mothers, to the caregivers on what really happens to these babies while growing up. So I welcome you to this channel and in today's episode we are continuing on treatment of malaria in children and today we are doing the uncomplicated malaria that malaria just malaria it's not complicated like the ones we said in our previous episode we were treating the complicated malaria the severe malaria so if you haven't watched i refer you to the previous episode kindly go back there and watch so that you're not lost so uh, without further ado, let's go to treatment of malaria in children. So in treatment of the uncomplicated malaria, here we use oral drugs, the oral antimalarial. We do not do the IV, the intravenous or the IM, the intramuscular like for the severe malaria. We want to give oral drugs because these babies can tolerate oral drugs. They are not very sick. Uh, compared to those with severe malaria. So which is the best drug of choice? The best drug, the best first line drug, it is what you all know. This is the AL. The AL in full is the Artemisia lumefantrine. It is the best drug for the treatment of uncomplicated malaria. So the AL and the AL is uh, it's usually a combination of these two drugs. The Artemisia, A for the Artemisia, and it is usually 20 milligrams. The Lumefantrine is 120 uh, milligrams. So this combination is the best. So, and we usually give this AL with food. I know you all know this drug. You all get it over the counter from the pharmacies. Yes, the AL. So the best we give in children, especially we're supposed to give uh, with food. Give with food, do not say after food give with food especially for example with porridge so this is it how we are supposed to give so what is the dosage the dosage is as per kg and also the age really matters here we just don't give i know we know how to treat in adults where we give four tablets every time so in babies we go per kg and also the age so we start with the very small children the very small the very small children those below 5 kgs so the below 5 kgs we give half a tablet we do not even give a full tablet so we give half a tab and the half a tab you are giving a start at zero hour we also want to repeat it after eight hours then we want to give uh two times in day two and day three so the total treatment we do is for three days at zero hours at after eight hours and then we give times two uh twice daily uh day two and day three so for the less uh for the below five kgs we are doing half a tablet those babies between five kgs and 15 kgs these ones are uh we there are the babies that are three to 35 months old so these ones we want to give a full tablet again at zero hour after eight hours then twice daily day two and also day three so for three days so we give a full tablet those children between 15 kgs to 24 kgs between uh we're saying between 15 to 24 kgs these are children between three to seven years old so these ones we are going to give two tablets so we're giving two tablets start two tablets after eight hours and also two tablets twice daily day two and also day three how about bigger ones these are children between uh 25 to 34 kilograms so 25 to 34 kgs we want to give these are children between 9 to 11 years these are bigger children so these ones we want to give three tablets we give three tablets and this is three tablets uh at zero hour after eight hours and also twice daily day two and also day three so this is how we go about it now we reach up to there up to 34 kilograms because we assume that above 34 that is 35 kgs and above that is an adult and this will have reached 12 kg i mean 12 years and 12 years now this is the adult dose so this is now where we go to four tablets but here we are concentrating on babies on kids and we are saying it's up to 34 kgs and we have said the ranges and what uh 
uh, what, uh, how many tabs we give. I hope this is very clear. In all cases, again, let me insist, we give at zero hour. We give after eight hours and also we give uh, twice daily on day one and on day two and day three to make a complete three days. So this is it. That is it about treatment of malaria, just malaria in children, the uncomplicated one, using the oral medication, which is the AL. Now, let's do the whole summary, the whole summar summary on malaria in children. So a child, the first point to summarize is a child with a positive uh, malaria blood slide, if there is a positive, the lab test is positive for malaria, uh, you should think of severe malaria if we have one or a combination of one, comma, comma is unconsciousness. If the child is, remember, the AVPU, if the AVPU is below A, this child is in a coma and they may have something we call neurological impairment. So this involves the brain and here we start thinking of cerebral malaria. Remember we said cerebral malaria is a form of severe malaria. So if a child has got a positive, if the blood slide is positive and on top we have coma, think of severe malaria. Another way to think of severe malaria is if there's a positive blood slide and also we have what we said respiratory distress. It's just a summary we said this before so respiratory distress remember it is the dif uh, the difficulties in breathing so think of severe malaria so you should start treating severe malaria um also a uh, uh, blood slide positive uh plus severe anemia remember we said the anemia is low blood levels so and we said below five grams per deciliter so if you see this and on top the blood slide is positive treat for severe malaria you don't have to start or because they will not respond these are signs in other words these are we are reminding you the signs of severe malaria so another summary as uh, things to note is that atesonate is the first line drug for treatment of severe malaria we say that and if it's not available, if the atesonate is not available, we go for quinine. Quinine is our second line, a drug in treatment of severe malaria. It is an appropriate alternative. This we have just, we just said, so we are just summarizing the points on malaria. Another a point is that if the loading dose of quinine is required, I mean, a, a loading dose, a loading dose of quinine is required to achieve the adequate blood levels uh, of a drug to effectively treat malaria. Remember, we just say that. If you haven't watched the previous episode, please do because this we are just summarizing that a loading dose of quinine, when you are using quinine, a loading dose is very, very important. It reaches the blood levels quickly and we want to clear all the malaria, uh, the malaria parasites. That is just a point to note. Uh, also, it prevents resistance. When you give a loading dose, they will, most probably do not have uh, the resistance in treatment. Another point to note is that treatment failure, if there is treatment failure, consider other causes of illnesses. So, for example, uh, you have treated severe malaria with either atesunate, the right dosages, you have treated effectively, and this child is not responding, or you are using quinine, as a second line, the baby is, the child is not responding. So think of a treatment failure and you want to know if there's a treatment failure, maybe most probably there's another illness on top of this malaria. And this we want to investigate. We want to send for blood uh, uh, tests to look for other, uh, we want to look for, for signs of other um, causes of other illnesses. So this is another point. Uh, to note, so if a child, uh, another point to note is that if a child on oral medication, if a child was on, on AL has fever, that is hotness of the body, and a blood slide is positive uh, in after three days, that is in 72 hours, you should check for compliance. See if the child is taking uh, the medications well because there must be a problem. Another point to note is that a child on again oral anti-malarial uh, and develops signs of severe malaria 
either the coma, the AVP less than A, or the respiratory distresses, these signs of severe pneumonia. So if the child initially didn't have these signs and symptoms, and you are giving the oral medications, so they start getting these this, uh, respiratory distresses, coma, uh, unconsciousness. So we should switch, we should, we should switch and change to giving the IV a test unit. So we should switch from oral medication to uh, IV to the treatment of the uh, of the severe malaria use of a test unit. So this is it. I hope this is clear. That is just the summary of uh, malaria in children. And then my people, this bring us to the end of malaria in children. If you have any question concerning malaria, please, please pin it down on the comment section. Ask any question. Again, in the end of every episode, I provided my email. You can go to my email, ask anything. Thank you for those people who are consulting. I feel so, so good. Please continue. If you have any question, again, write any topic. Uh, pin down on the comment section any topic you think is of a concern you want us to discuss here. So I will really appreciate. Those who haven't subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button. Keep subscribing. Support me by subscribing. And if uh, again, uh, turn on your notifications so that uh, you are among the first people to know every time I post a new video. Thank you so much, my people.